3, 2, 1, go!
There you have it, everybody. This is my attempt at a high-speed build for a shuttle. Okay, so I'm just using a big tank and not the solid rocket boosters because aligning them with the main engine is a pain in the behind. Okay, we're going to accelerate this a little bit. I'm using four times playback speed, accelerating through the clouds, those vector engines are really useful for that kind of application, i.e. building a shuttle. So we're now doing the traditional uh, backflip, so to speak. So we're heading up into the atmosphere. Well, out of the atmosphere, actually, that's our goal then now, isn't it? Okay, getting a little bit hot over there, but that's no worries. Okay, flipping around so we can ditch the tank more easily. Coasting to the apoaps and then, of course, maneuvering out of Kerbin's, well, gravity pool. Not really, we're just maneuvering so that we have a stable orbit. Okay, now firing the main engines. Those vector gimbals really working overtime now. And we've ditched the tank. Well, not picture perfect, but yeah, it worked. Okay, now using the OMS which are basically just the RCS engines to make a circularization burn. Okay, here we go. And we are circularized in lower Kerbin orbit. So this is a working shuttle that can carry an 18 ton payload into lower Kerbin orbit. Okay, now we have to deliver that payload. Here it is. Goodbye. Okay, and now the tricky part, the really tricky part. The tricky part is getting that thing back down to the surface. Okay, and I've skipped a little bit ahead. We're already in the upper atmosphere. And of course, as per usual, I have completely miscalculated where my spacecraft will come down to the ground. Okay. I'm now really hoping at this point that I will be able to get the spacecraft at least somewhere in the desert. Or that at least the crew survives. Okay now, well it does look beautiful now doesn't it with the clouds and the desert and the ocean and the looming death of plunging into oblivion. Okay, trying to execute a turn here. 
So this is really related to the real space shuttle in such a way that this only is gliding now. This is just using aerodynamics, trying to get safely down to Earth. Oh, look at that with the moon in the background. Nice. I could fire perhaps the OMS thrusters, but I really don't want to do that. Because I want to try to land this thing really properly. And I realize I've forgotten the safety chute in the back. Oh well. Let's see if we survive that anyways. Okay, this is looking promising, to be honest. So we're gliding down to the desert. Desert, of course, being a lot more flat than, of course, the mountains that you can see in the back. And I'm trying to flare up at the right moment. Okay, that was way too early. And I'm afraid I'm going in too hot and... Ah. Oh well, everybody survives. A typical Shadow Zone landing. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.